Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the Retrax Pro XR on this 2022 Toyota Tundra. For this installation, I'll be using a ratchet and 916 socket along with a Phillips head screwdriver and the included Allen wrench. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, now first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure we remove this tube from the spiral and also this bracket. So we're just gonna pull the tube straight out And the bracket just comes off with a Phillips head screwdriver. Now, once you pull that bracket out, do the same thing on the opposite side, but save one of these brackets for later because we're gonna to need to use this as a spacer. All right, now what we're gonna do is attach the rails to the canister. Uh, so this is our driver side rail. Uh, one thing I wanna point out, you got a hole up here that's gonna to face towards the cab of the truck right up at the canister. Um, on the inside, you're gonna have a slot. This is a channel that the cover actually slides into. Um, now before we can slide that together, we first need to unlatch the cover. Uh, they generally are shipped with the cover locked. So you unlock the latch, press the button, it pops up. That has to be unlatched in order for the, uh, the rail to slide in, otherwise it won't slide in at all. So go ahead and pull the packing stuff off. And now we can go ahead and slide on the rail. All right, so next what we wanna do is line up this hole back behind up to this hole and line up this hole in the rail to this one. Once we do that, we can go ahead and get our machine screws out of our kit. Uh, these are in a bag that's found with your clamps. We'll line up the machine screws to the holes and put them in with a Phillips head screwdriver. Repeat the same process for the passenger side rail. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and install the canister cover. Now, I wanna show you how it's oriented. You're gonna have a rubber flap seal that's gonna to point towards the cab of the truck, kind of away from the canister. And it's just gonna fit right underneath the rails up at the front. Now, one quick tech tip. <clears throat> We've got a couple of threaded holes, one on each side. This has been powder coated. Sometimes there's a little bit of powder left inside those holes. So what I would do is take one of these screws and run it through those holes, make sure all the powder is cleared out before you slide it in place. It's a lot easier to do it before it's in place than doing it in the rails. So now what we're gonna do is just take the cover, slide it, and those holes are gonna line up to these holes up top. Or we're gonna go ahead and take our Allen head screw, get that lined up to the hole. Use our included Allen wrench. Once you snug that up, go ahead and repeat the same on the opposite side, and then you wanna go ahead and latch the cover in place to keep it from sliding out into the rail while you're installing the cover. Now, before you set the cover into the bed of the truck, you first wanna to go to the bed, find your deck rail system. At the end of your deck rail system, you have a little plastic plug. What you do is you push in on that plug and pull out, you remove the plug. In your kit, you're gonna have these uh, aluminum blocks that have a threaded hole. We're gonna take that aluminum block and we're gonna set it into the deck rail system and then we can put our plug back in. Now let's go to the other side of the deck rail. All right, now moving up to the front of the bed next to the cab, what we're gonna do is on a deck rail system, we've got the exact same type of plug up here. So we're gonna push in and pull out that plug. We've got another aluminum block, exactly like the one from back uh, in the back, and we're gonna set it into the deck rail system. But this one, we don't wanna just leave it right here. We wanna bring it about a foot and a half or so um, back because your canister is gonna fit right in here. Then we can go ahead and replace our plug, do the exact same thing on the opposite side of the deck rail. Now with the help of a friend, go ahead and lift it up and set it into the bed of the truck. Make sure your rubber gasket is hanging over top of your bulkhead. Now with the cover pulled all the way up against the bulkhead, go ahead and gently close the tailgate. So you make sure this tailgate does not strike the rail on the cover. Next, we wanna set the alignment of the rail. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our eighth inch spacer tool. We're gonna set it between the tailgate and the rail, then bring the rail back to that spacer tool. Do the same thing on the opposite side. 
All right, here we are on the passenger side tailgate end of the rail. We've already got our rail position set in place, so it's time to go ahead and lock it down. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, now if you notice these two white set screws, what we want to do is take our aluminum block that we slid into the deck rail system and line it up in between those two set screws. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take our clamp assembly from our kit. Uh, it's got a bolt, uh, washer, and then you've also got the L-shaped clamp. That's going to line up to here. Now, the grooves in the top of the clamp assembly are going to match up to the grooves in the rail, uh, and the, the bottom part of the L is going to fit flat against our deck rail. So what we're going to do is set that in place and then put on finger tight for right now. And then once it's all nice and lined up, make sure the grooves are married into the grooves on the rail. We can go ahead and tighten that down with a 9 16 We're going to do that to all four clamp locations. Okay, now we need to go ahead and install our drain tube. We've got a hole on the bottom of our canister. I've already peeled away the plastic protector. You want to do that before you install the drain tube. And we also want to figure out where we want to route the drain tube. Uh, right now, we've got a small hole in the bottom of our bed for, weep, uh, for, for water to go out. It's a weep hole. Uh, you can either just widen that out. I'm actually just going to run the drain tube straight to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the drain tube through my tie down point, plug it into the bottom of the canister, and bend it around to terminate right above where that weep hole is. All right, now just repeat the same process on the opposite side. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.